Father, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd uh, like to give all uh, praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, Christmas word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christian word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christian word truthfully and sincerely. And I say uh, Shalom, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is uh, uh, in the news on this um, Monday night, 9.46 p.m. on August the 29th, 2022. And this is a news article for in the news uh, in regards to the, uh, uh, the Wall Street. And this is a news article from uh, a lot of about that. Uh, this is a news article from the Wall Street Journal, and uh, this was published on August the 29th, 2022, at 4.55 p.m., which was last updated. And as you see, once again, the uh, stock crashes once again. And the highlight of this news article, it reads from the Wall Street Journal, and it says, Today's stock market news on Monday, August the 29th, 2022. The Dow declines, deepenings on interest rate concerns. It says to follow the Wall Street Journal for market coverage. It says today's coverage stocks, treasury prices fell with the stock retreat accelerating into the close as investors remain unsettled by the Federal Reserve's resolves to keep fighting inflation, even if it costs the economic pain. Wow. <laughs> it says the S&P 500 fell 0.7%, and the, da and the uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average slid 0.6%. And which includes, I'm looking on my internet right here on my desktop, it says the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell negative 184 points of 0.75% in the negative range as of August the 29th, 2022. As the markets close around about 3 or 4 p.m. Eastern Time today, and once again, the uh, Dow Jones markets and the, and the losing streets once again, as it's on, been on a consistent basis from yesterday all in today. And continue reading on, um, the Nasdaq declined 1% on Friday. The U.S. Thought stocks fell sharply at the federal chairman Jeremy Powell said the central banks must continue raising interest rates and keep them at an elevated level until it is confident that the inflation is under control. But it seems like times when they're still fighting inflation, even though inflation has been uh, decreasing, but you know, you've been still seeing signs of uh, the consumer spending from 9.1 percent all the way to 8.5 percent so that lets you know that consumer spending still going up the inflation even though it decreased a little bit but you still have uh hyper inflation and the cost of living and everything like that and definitely the consistent basis of the uh wall street of the dow jones and the s p 500 and the nasdaq as well too uh, constantly, consistently uh, slipping now more than ever, you know, on an everyday basis. So this is a statistic shows the U.S. Treasury gain from the second year to the 10 year is a up and down slope on both of the scales of it, you know. It says the stocks start weak in negative territory. Right, because this is the start of the new week, which is Monday. It says uh, the major U.S. stocks market benchmark 
close lower Monday to kick off the trading week. The S&P 500 dipped 0.7% and the Dow Jones Industrial eased to 0.6% and the Nasdaq Composite fell to 1%. The 10-year ter- the U.S. Treasury yield settled at 3.3%. 109% up from 3.34 on Friday. So from August 25th all the way to August 29th, you can see in the Dow Jones, this is a graphic statistic of it. So for basically like for the past four days, three or four days, you know, you've been seeing a continuing drop of the red chart so it's right here of the S&P 500 from August the 25th it had went up a little bit then it slowed all the way back down on August the 29th and the chart you see of that NASDAQ composite it was up a little bit at first and it slowed back down as well too as the long along with the uh uh, Dow Jones, the Dow Industrial as well too. They said the uh, uh, major U.S. market benchmark was still negative territory heading into the half, the last half hour in New York, which I believe it was like uh, 2:30 to 3 o'clock uh, of today. As you see, the uh, S&P, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq composite slips, and I'm worried again for out of case to say. It says the major U.S. stock market benchmarks were still in negative territory heading into the last half hour in New York, which is about seven or eight hours ago. It says the S&P uh, dipped 0.3%, the Dow Jones Industrial Ease 0.25%, as the NASDAQ Composite failed 0.6%, right? Because you know, they still, uh, cause you know, the Dow Jones, it reacts to what's going on. Uh, the members of the federal uh, federal chair of the uh, Wall Street and the uh, Wall Street affects what's going on uh, globally, economically, with the uh, oil prices, the gas prices, of the consumer prices, of the economy of the inflation rates, of the interest rates, because they still got, why they still trying to fight ease to end the inflation, you know, uh, they still raising uh, the interest rates, but it seems like at times when they continue to, the Federal Reserve continues to uh, raise the interest rates, you know, these stocks keep on slipping and it's entering the negatives, and it's been like this on a consistent basis. I believe this is like the third or fourth, like the third or fourth uh, day this has been happening, even though this is entering a new week of the stocks, you know. It has consistently been falling once again. It had fell on Friday, now it had fallen again on uh, Monday to start the new week uh, with the stocks market. And I wouldn't be surprised if you see this trend uh, continuing because, you know, the uh, stocks, the uh, market, the stock market uh, runs through the economy as well, too, you know. Even though they might have somewhat gains of uh, jobs or lower unemployment rate, uh, lower inflation, uh, lower uh, gas prices or oil production. I seen a news article, I believe it said uh, the oil production been down since the 4th. It's it been the lowest since uh, the 4th or, or the 4th or 5th week now, I believe. And the inflation as well, too. But you still have uh, heavy concerns of the uh, inflation as the Federal Reserve continues to rise the interest rate as consumer spending continually, as the uh, rocky pace of the economy, the uh, rocky pace of the uh, housing uh, market as well too, and the stocks and bonds 
of these uh, companies, these tech companies, and etc. You know, as these uh, stocks keep on continuing to slip. But what wouldn't be surprised, like I mentioned before, as the, uh, it, it continues to slip, you know. Jeremiah 51 and 8, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed spiritually. How for her, take bond for her pain, if so, she may be ill, right? Because with this continuing trend going on of the uh, stock markets, the consumer spending, the inflation, the cost of living, everything going up. And then with the uh, pandemic going on and many different things that's going on in the world, you know. So that shows you more signs of a modern day Babylon is falling on an economic scale, you know. Because everything is going to constantly, consistently goes up, you know. Even if the inflation is down a little bit or the gas production is down a little bit as well too. But you're still going to have the cost of living. Everything is continually be expensive. And what major events that's coming this winter, especially uh, what's coming on J December the 13th, if it be fully official about in regards to the, you know, the uh, Caragua, you know, with the central banks making that uh, uh, announcement, you know. And it goes to show you, show you more signs of that MOTB, that Caragua, that's starting to be shown, shown lately in the news, you know, that, that digital Caragua, you know, that uh, cashless society. And that's what we're entering into as well, too. You know, even though the paper dollar, the American dollar still got high value, but it's not going to be more any value very soon, you know. And that's why you got these other countries like uh, China, Russia, and India. They are uh, dipping away from the American dollar. And I believe it's uh, Iran. Um, uh, I believe they come out with their own type of currency as well too. So everything is gonna be digital, you know. But back to the matter at hand, you know, that's another topic. But yeah, uh, with the continual inflations, the continued consumer spending, with uh, food prices continuing to go up, the cost of living is to continue to go up and everything like that. You know, so all these things are going to continue. And like I mentioned before, with the uh, Wall Street, you know, they re it reacts to what's going on in the world, especially uh, economically, as we see the stocks, bonds continue to crash and keep on, on a consistent basis, slipping. Because, you know, the economy runs on the stocks and bonds as well, too. And they fund a lot of money try to uh, build a good solid economy you know with the G GDP you know continue to slips as well too even though jobs are created you know or like more tech jobs or you know jobs that are being created but you know you still have a low unemployment rate but you still have like everything constantly, consistently going up. Like the housing market, not so good, still kind of rocky. You know, the cost of living is constantly, consistently going up. I believe it was a record breaking of high of uh, the cost of living in New York and all these major cities. It had increased, the increase of uh, paying a house mortgage, the increase of uh, you paying rent on a yearly basis monthly or yearly basis uh, constantly consistently going up you know so all these things are still taking place that's 
That's why modern day Babylon is constantly, definitely falling on an economic scale and we're seeing these things right before our eyes, you know. And expect to see the consumer, consumer spending to increase. It might stay in the 8.1 or 8.5 or 8.9% range or 8.7, potentially, you know. When the uh, new report come out this winter, very soon, I believe, because winter, I mean, because uh, fall is right around the corner, and then you're going to have potentially a new report comes out if the inflation continues to drop or the oil production or the gas prices continue to drop as well, too. Even though gas prices are still at a high, steady pace, you know, and inflation as well, too. That's why the Federal Reserve is trying to find ways to maneuver and try to ease the inflations and, you know, drop it, you know. As the uh, Federal Reserve's still trying to predict if they want to increase the interest rate, even if you do increase the interest rates, you know, that's stopping. I, I believe that's not really going to, that's really not going to help the inflation slow down a little bit. But you will expect to see the inflation is going to increase right back up, you know. And the uh, oil production as well, too, even though the oil production is constantly, consistently dropping as the inflation as well, too. But you're going to see both of those, the inflation and the gas production, go back up as well, too. You know, Cause especially you see it with the Russian Ukraine situation and the import, exporting the, uh, of uh, gas productions and stuff like that. So, yeah, that shows you uh, more signs that modern day Babylon is falling on the economic scale, you know, globally as well, too. You know, even though their dollar, it might be high value. But very soon, it's not going to be any value because everything is going to be digital. digital. Everything is going to be full mandatory digital, you know. And that's the hour of that, uh, that Karakma, which is recorded in Revelations uh, 13 through 16 through verse 18. So, yeah, a hey, modern day Babylon is definitely falling economically, and it's going to continue to be that way, you know. Uh, bring out revelations uh, this is the book of revelations chapter 18 verse 2 and he cried with a mighty voice Salaki he cried with a mighty strong voice saying Babylon is great as fallen is fallen and has become an habitation of devils and the whole of every foul spirit in a cage an uncleanful, hateful bird, right? Because modern day Babylon is the the infrastructure, you know, to to the division of the nations on the left hand side or on the right hand side, you know, and many different aspects of modern day Babylon is from, especially on the economic sense, you know. Even though they might think the economy is increasing but it still is at a rocky pace and it's going to continue to be like that and expect to see going to have a high inflation going to go right back up through the roof even though it's declining but we would expect to see the inf inflation going to constantly go back up the consumer spending is going to go back up the cost of living is going to back go back up as well too Huh. Oh, out there. Oh, Mark out there working. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, yeah, um, expect to see. The consumer spending, like I mentioned again, consumer spending going up, inflation going to go back up, gas production is going to go back up, you know, for you paying uh, 
uh, food price is gonna constantly consistently go up. So paying your bills is gonna constantly consistently go up. The cost of living is gonna constantly consistently go up as well too. Even if you do have these uh, inflation is going down, continuing to decline, and these oil productions, gas prices, or oil production prices continue to slip. But hey, we're gonna see those go drastically right back up as well too. And we're gonna potentially might see the continuing trend of the uh, the Wall Street constantly cons consistently crash, you know. I believe it was on uh, Thursday or Friday that it, it, it dropped to like a thousand points due to the concern over the uh, inflation and the Federal Reserve, the Feds of the Federal Reserve of the uh, Wall Street. You know, they're still trying to find ways to see if they're gonna uh, raise the interest rates. So they're trying to see, hopefully that'll be a solution to uh, bring down the inflation, because ease the uh, inflation. They said they will try their best, even if it might be an economic pain. I was like, ouch, that's a blow right there, you know? So hey, that's, why, that's why I did mention, I was like, you know, they thinking that the economy is good, which it's not. It's still at a rocky, a rocky steady below pace, you know? So, a hey, we would expect to see the inflation rate gonna increase, the uh, oil production gonna increase, you know, cost of living, consumer spending, and all of those categories is gonna continue to increase and more than ever, you know? And we've seen more signs more than ever on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, as well, too. And it's increasing, you know, of the current um, fall of modern day Babylon on an economic scale. And this trend is going to continue to increase of uh, the economic, continue to fall of modern day Babylon, you know. So with that, I hope this uh, lesson was edifying. Through the spirit, power, grace, and mercy at the Hawaii Hour Shah. And first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Wakar Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Nestone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Akin, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shout out one to the Akin, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say shout out one and the ball, ball, ball.